Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're making this image right here. We're starting out in Photoshop and then going into Luminar 4. I'm going to be doing some dodging and burning. Uh, I'm going to be doing some layer masking. So it's going to be a pretty interesting tutorial and I think you're going to learn a lot. So without any further ado, let's get started. Like I said, we're starting out in Photoshop, so I went ahead and duplicated the background layer and named it Luminar 4. So we'll come up to Filter and find Luminar 4, and we'll go ahead and launch Luminar 4. First thing I want to do in Luminar 4 is do a little bit of AI Enhance, because I really love AI Enhance because it really gets you started really quick, and it really uses that intelligent artificial intelligence to get you to a good starting point. So let's come up here to AI Enhance and let's just bump this up. And don't want to go too far, but let's see what, where we can go with it. I mean, right around there looks pretty nice. Now let's click this toggle right here. Here's the before and here's the after. So that's a nice, nice starting point. And now let's go to uh, AI Structure. And let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Let's give it a little bit of structure boost here. I don't want to go too crazy. I mean, you can go way up and get a real HDR looking image, which I'm not really into, but I just want to add a little bit of structure to it. Just a little bit. Say somewhere right around in there. Next thing I want to do is come up to light, and we're going to go and get some smart contrast. So let's just add a little bit of smart contrast to it. Not much, just a little bit here maybe something like that. Now let's click our uh, split screen and we can see our before and after. So here's the before and here's the after. So pretty nice so far. I think it's looking really good and we'll look at the histogram here and that's looking nice. Let me see if I want to give it a little extra exposure. I don't know, maybe just maybe just a little bit and maybe pull our highlights back. It's a little bit strong up here. Let's pull our highlights back just a little bit, maybe somewhere right around in there. And I think that's a good start. So let's check the split screen again. Yeah, I'm happy with that so far. I think I just want to open up the shadows a little bit. So let's come to the shadow slider here, and I'm just going to pull this up to about a 10, somewhere in there, just to give us a little more detail in the shadows. I just think it needs that. Now we're going to come to color. I just want to pop a little bit of color up here in the sky here, a little extra color, and a little bit on this uh, reflection of blue sky in the water here. And I'm going to just take the vibrance and bump it up to somewhere around like 25, just to pop a little color there and on this water here. And I'm going to go to Edit Mask, and I'm just going to paint that in with a brush. And I'm going to have my brush for the top here at 100%. So let's uh, click this little eyeball here, and that lets us view our mask. So we can just go here ahead and paint this in here. I'm taking my time, or not taking my time. I'm going a little faster because of the tutorial. And then I want to bump my opacity down to about... Oh maybe around 30% or so, and just paint in on this color that's in the water right in here. Just to add a little bit of extra color in there. Now let's shut the eyeball off. So there we go. And let's uh, click the toggle here so we can see the before and then the after. So that just adds a little bit of extra in there. Let's click Done. Next, let's work on adding a little bit of detail to these foreground rocks and also these rocks back in here. So to do that, what I want to do is come up to the layers and let's come to the little plus, give that a click, and let's click on add new adjustment layer. And what I want to do now is come back to um, the essentials and let's get the details enhancer here. And I'm going to bump up the small details a decent amount here. And the medium, just that pop some detail in these rocks and a little bit of large detail, something like that. And now we're going to go to Edit Mask, get a brush, and I'm going to paint at 100% opacity. Make sure I have that on 100%. And I'm on Paint In, so when I start painting, the adjustment will go away everywhere else. Right now it looks horrible, but we're just going to paint on these rocks here. 
not everywhere, but just the main rocks right around in here, over here, something like that. Maybe make my brush a little bit smaller, hit some of these areas like in here, maybe out on here, over in here, just like that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And the reason I made a new layer was uh, because we can come up to the layers and pull the opacity back. See, watch. So we can take that opacity back. So if I went too far, I can pull that back a little bit. Because I think that's a little too strong. And I just want to see where it looks the best. So I'm thinking about somewhere right around in there. Now I'd like to do a little bit of dodging and burning. I'd like to pull up these waterfalls a little bit, lighten them up a bit, and maybe do some dodging and burning on these rocks that add a little bit of interest to them, okay? So to do that, let's make sure we're in the layers palette, which we are. Come to the little plus icon and add new adjustment layer. And what we want to do now is come down to where it says Pro and come over to Dodge and Burn. Start painting. And uh, we want to be in the light mode, so we can either lighten or darken or erase. So we want to lighten. I'm going to paint, you know, lighten up these falls a little bit here. Right now, my brush size is at 20. My uh, strength is at 20%. And I'm just going to paint over these uh, waterfalls here. That adds 20% of lightness to them. Come down this little one right in here. Maybe hit this guy another time. Maybe this little section here. Maybe give him one more little blast. Another blast on that one. Okay. And then we have this amount slider here. We can pull this back. Take it off. If we've overdone it and just bring it up. And I may not bring it up the full way to 100%. But I think right around like 90% looks pretty good. And then let's just click on done here and now we can toggle this layer before and after so that lightens it up a little bit and that looks good and now we can always come back to layer here and we have this opacity for this layer and the only adjustment on that layer is that lightening of the waterfall with the dodging so we can pull this back as well if we want to so this is nice uh, we can work uh, pretty smartly here so let's leave it at hundred percent the next thing I want to do is do some dodging and burning on the rocks. I'm going to have a separate layer for dodging and a separate layer for burning so we can have uh, separate opacity sliders for each layer. So let's come to the little plus right here, give it a click and add new adjustment layer and come down to pro, click on start painting and let's, uh, let's do the lightning first or the dodging and we still have a 20... Uh, 20 pixel brush, I believe that stands for pixels. We're at 20%. I might want to bump this down to around 10%. I always like to start slow and build up. And you can use your left and right bracket key to make your brush larger or smaller. And I want a pretty small brush. And let's just paint some of the highlighted areas. And again, every time I paint over them, I'm adding another like 10%. So just look for some areas of interest here where you might think a little light should go. Maybe over here a little bit, add a little bit of light on there. Just kind of look for the light spots and add a little bit of extra light. Maybe across here and here. Maybe some of the little spots on the water. Maybe coming down the waterfall here a little bit. Or the little babbling, whatever you want to call it, these falls here. And maybe make my brush a little bigger and just come across this light here. Maybe this area right here, give it a little bit of light. And I think that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll just hit, these are kind of in shadow here, but maybe there's maybe a little bit of light playing through here. A little bit of dappled light, something like that. Now we can come over to the amount, pull this amount back, and then just pull it up slowly. And we're just dealing with those little light areas that we painted in there. And let's click done and then we can click on to the toggle here so here's the before and here's the after so i think that adds some nice little interest to the image here and remember we can come up to the layer so right here and we have this opacity we can always come back later 
and readjust this so that's nice after looking at the image i think i'm going to take this opacity of the uh, dodging on the rocks back just a little bit maybe to around it uh, right around a 75 somewhere in there 77 that looks good and now we're going to do some burning so let's come up to the layers and uh, I was already at the layers by the way and click on the little plus and add a new adjustment layer come to pro and uh, we're on dodge and burn still so we're going to click start painting and this time we're going to click on darken and uh, the opacity is at 10% and my brush size is at 88 and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller let's find some smaller areas first like I might darken up some of this in this rock here again just looking for darker areas of rocks now this rock down here I'm gonna make my brush bigger I want to darken this corner down a little bit because it's down here in the bottom of the frame maybe come across here a little bit and make my brush a little bit smaller maybe come across this rock I just love dodging and burning I just think it adds a lot of uh, character to the image and I like to do it on all my images maybe this little shadow in here come across here a little bit I'm not gonna go too crazy here but take your time and, and, and do it right this is a tutorial so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it but I just want you to get the gist of what I'm doing here might darken this a little bit maybe down under here but you can see the effect that it's doing for you now you can again come to the overall mount and pull this off and then just build it up slowly to where you think it looks just about right and then we can come and say done here so click on done click the toggle here so there's the before and there's the after so I'm liking that effect right there Let's go ahead and add a new adjustment layer. So come up here to the layer icon, click it, and click on the plus key, add new adjustment layer. Now let's come back to the uh, essentials. Click on the little icon here, and let's come to light. I think I just want to pull back my highlights just a little bit. I think they're a little strong, so let's just take our highlights back. Just a, just a wee bit, just to, just to tame them down there a little bit and then the last thing I want to do is come to vignette click on vignette choose subject and I'm gonna choose the waterfall as the subject right here and then just pull down the amount a little bit darken the edges a little bit there just to draw attention to the waterfall maybe somewhere right around in there and then come to make sure you have advanced settings open if it's not and it won't be by default so click advanced settings and I like the roundness and the feather just where it is I'm just going to take the inner light and move that up a little bit just to draw some more attention into the waterfall just a little bit of light we're going to pop right in there now let's click the uh, toggle switch here before the vignette and after the vignette and I like that and I think that's a done image now all we have to do is come up here and click apply and that'll bake that adjustment into the image and that'll bring us right back into Photoshop after it processes here it takes a little bit of time because I did a lot to it and there it is so Luminar 4 let's click this eyeball so here's the before and here's the after and I think that came out really nice well, it's complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. I really enjoyed working with Luminar in this image. The more I use Luminar, the more I like it. Uh, let me know what you think of Luminar for. Uh, I'd really like to carry on some dialogue with you, so please leave questions and comments in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. This way, every time I put out a new training video, you'll be notified about it. Well, thanks again for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. But until then, happy editing.